A high blood pressure medicine can slow down the aging process. For years, scientists have been searching for a therapy that could slow down the aging process and extend life expectancy. They check various specifics that have been available on the market for years. It seems that one of them could fulfill the hopes placed in it. Such conclusions can be drawn from the conducted tests. Published in Aging Cell, the findings suggest that rilmenidine, currently used to treat high blood pressure, may promote a longer and healthier life. Animals treated with the drug lived longer and had test results showing very good health. The health and lifespan benefits of rilmenidine treatment were also observed in the nematode Kynorhabditis elegans. This suggests that this agent is a potential drug for longevity. Studies carried out so far have shown that the use of a low-calorie diet, while maintaining the right amount of nutrients in it, can contribute to extending life. Such conclusions can be drawn from the analysis of animal models, although there are also opinions that it could also work for humans. However, whether this can be directly transferred to the functioning of the human body is debatable. Similarly, the long-term effects of using such a diet may raise doubts. For example, our bones may become thinner and therefore more susceptible to fractures, and this may also affect the condition of our hair. The ideal solution would therefore be to induce the effect of such a diet in the body without the need to really reduce the calories consumed. And this is where we come to Rilmenidine. Used as a medicine for high blood pressure, this agent is able to produce the effect of reduced calorie intake at the cellular level. And nematodes were helpful in examining the potential effect of Rilmenidine on lifespan. Kynorhabditis elegans is a nematode, but tests with it are eagerly considered for potential drug effects in humans, because its genes show some similarities to their human counterparts. And it was these nematodes that were treated with rilmenidine. The results of these tests are quite promising. Under its influence, these, elegant, nematodes were actually able to live longer than under normal conditions. In the studies, their bodies looked as good as if they were on a low-calorie diet. However, this is not all. Because similar effects of rilmenidine were observed in the organs of mice, specifically in the tissues of their livers and kidneys. In their case, genetic activity analogous to what would occur with reduced caloric intake was noted here. In addition, scientists were able to identify the specific signaling receptor that is responsible for this effect of the drug in question on hypertension. It is called NISH-1. Its role is so crucial in the whole process that if it is removed, rilmenidine automatically ceases to be effective in the field of potential life extension. However, restoring this receptor equals restoring these extraordinary extra properties of the drug. In conclusion, rilmenidine seems to be a serious candidate for a drug that could lead to the extension of human life in the long term. It is already widely prescribed, taken orally, and its potential side effects are not serious. Palpitations, insomnia or hypersomnia are mentioned here. However, the use of rilmenidine in humans in this capacity is still a long way off. Artificial intelligence discovers unknown components of human cells. Newly developed AI-based technology has uncovered previously unknown structures in our cells that could provide new clues about human development and disease. According to the researchers, this could be a breakthrough in medicine. By combining microscopy, biochemistry techniques and artificial intelligence algorithms,
Researchers at the University of California San Diego School of Medicine have made what they believe could be a significant leap forward in understanding how human cells work. They have developed a tool that allows you to know the structure and arrangement of individual elements of the cell. Most human diseases can be traced to malfunctioning parts of cells. For example, a tumor develops because gene expression, that is, the production of a specific protein based on a gene, has not gone right. Metabolic diseases, on the other hand, arise due to the malfunctioning of the mitochondria. To fully understand which parts of a cell might be failing, scientists first need to understand its complete structure. When we think of a cell, we probably think of a colorful diagram from a school biology textbook. It contains the nucleus, mitochondria, cytoplasm and endoplasmic reticulum. But is that all we find in the cell? Definitely not, says Professor Trey Idica of UC San Diego School of Medicine and Moore's Cancer Center. Scientists have long realized that there is more to cells that we don't know than what we do know. Now we have a tool to look even deeper, he emphasizes. Professor Idica led the research together with Dr. Emma Lundbury of the KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. The new technique, dubbed multi-scale integrated cell, music, is described in the journal Nature. Already in a pilot study, music revealed about 70 components contained in human kidney cells, half of which had never been described before. For example, researchers spotted a group of proteins forming an unknown structure. They eventually determined that this structure is a novel complex of RNA binding proteins that enable the translation of genes into proteins and help determine the time when certain genes are activated. Research into what's inside cells has been done basically in two ways so far. The first technique is microscopic imaging which adds different colored fluorescent tags to proteins to track their movements and relationships. The second method is the use of antibodies specific for a given protein, which makes it possible to pull it out of the cell and check its structure under a microscope. The San Diego team has been trying to create a complete map of the cell's interior for many years. Now, music uses deep machine learning algorithms to accurately read the structure of a cell directly from microscopic images. The combination of these technologies is unique and powerful. For the first time, we are combining measurements made at very different scales, says study co-author Yu A. Chin, who works in bioinformatics and systems biology at IDECA's laboratory. Microscopes allow scientists to observe a cell and its components down to about a single micrometer, the size of some organelles such as mitochondria. Smaller structures, such as individual proteins and protein complexes, can no longer be seen with a microscope. Thanks to biochemical techniques, it is possible to observe individual proteins whose size is measured on the nanometer scale. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter or one thousandth of a micrometer. But how to bridge the gap between the nanometer and micrometer scale? It has been a great challenge in biological sciences for a long time, says Professor Idaka who is also the founder of the UC Cancer Cell Map Initiative and the UC San Diego Center for Computational Biology and Bioinformatics. It turns out that this can be done using artificial intelligence. Using data from many sources and programming the system so that it folds the data into a cell model, he explains. 
The team spent some time refining the software and training the AI in processing cell data. Music does not yet map the contents of a cell to specific locations. Because the location of its various components is not necessarily fixed. Professor Idica emphasizes that the study described in the latest article was a pilot study. It was designed to test music. And the algorithm only looked at 661 proteins and one cell type. The next step will be to study the entire human cell and all its components, says Professor Idica. Then we'll move on to research on different types of human cells, and then on to research on cells from other species. Eventually, we will be able to better understand the molecular basis of many diseases by comparing the differences between healthy and diseased cells.